a good start to the season with two wins, Matty. Yeah, especially with an away win, mate. It's good to get that one off early, and um, we're really improving our away record now, and the boys are really getting that sense of belief that we can win anywhere. Well, Logs, is it good to uh, knock over that bogey side? I think it's been about eight or nine years since you've beaten Oh, Ross there. That's a good stat. Um, yeah, well, definitely, mate. Yeah, we don't, we're not too worried about the past. You know, Ross is always big on the past is irrelevant. It's just all about our actions, and we're able to go across with, um, you know, a good game plan and uh, good tactics into how we bring him down, and we feel we did that. What was the most pleasing part of the game, Matt? Just our ability just to stick at it. We didn't feel that we executed our role 100%, but um, just in terms of our effort was always there for four quarters. How's Michael Johnson? Do you know how he's worked up today at all? I have it, mate. We've actually got our review later on the Savo, being a short turnaround, so I'll see him later the Savo and get the full report. How was he yesterday, though, after the injury? Did you know, it's a bad knee or an injury? I don't think so. Um, you know, just having a, a quick chat to him, it's often hard because of the delayed soreness, but on the plane, he, he seemed OK. Matt, how did the team handle the, it was effectively one game in four weeks? Did that have an effect on you at all towards the end of the game? It's hard to tell. I think the boys were pretty tired afterwards, and that was just a result of giving great effort for four quarters. So that could be could be that, or it could be the you know the lack of uh, match play. But we'll soon get rid of that, you know, with the with the weeks to come. And Essendon obviously a massive challenge on Friday night, given their form in the opening two rounds. Yeah, so we're both two and zero, obviously, and you know they obviously had a good good win last night, so they're in they're in good form. But um, hopefully, you know, with all our fans there for Pebble Hayes game, we'll be able to take them down. You're basically known as a shutdown team. They're going to be a hard team to shut down with their their midfield options and their forward options as well. Yeah, they've got lots of uh, you know lots of guns there now. Ryan Crowley will probably have a few sleepless nights this week, worrying about who he's got. So, uh, obviously, Dyson Apple, Joe Watson popping up. But, but your role this, this year, man, is it more of a defensive forward role? Where do you see yourself playing for most of the year? Yeah, I tried um, in pre-season in the midfield a little bit, but also up forward as well, sort of um, just trying to make sure I can have a few strings to my bow and make sure that wherever the team needs me or the coach wants me, I'm, I'm capable to go. There's a bit of competition now for that kind of that spot up there with uh, Crows. You come kicking a couple of goals and battles back this week. Yeah, there's real competition for spots at Fremantle now, and it's really healthy for our for our list. But at times, Pat looks like he was struggling a little bit out there. Is he still getting to his full fitness, his full strength? I think so, mate. Obviously, he had a very big clean out at the end of last year and pretty interrupted pre season, so he didn't get as many kilometres in the legs as we probably would have liked. But he'll time his run perfectly, mate, and you know he'll just keep building from week to week. I wouldn't be worried about him. How's the hand? I think he threw the glove off at about half time. Yeah, oh, I'm not sure, mate. He's pretty resilient and pretty tough, and he's probably not used to playing with a glove. I think he used to be back in the day, but yeah, he'll be fine, mate. You get stuck into him about running the glove at all? Yeah, I think a few boys were calling him Danny Glover, but apart from that, mate, that's about it. Matt, you get Hayden Ballantyne back on Friday night. Has the, uh, the other members of the leadership group spoken to him about the need not to find himself suspended and, and out of the team, that you need him out on the ground? Yeah, we have. It's a hard one with Ballas because, you know, we want him playing on the edge and that's where he plays at his best, but there's that fine line between, you know, between, you know, where he crosses that, that line and um, we need him out there, obviously, from week to week to really challenge those, those better teams and uh, it's unfortunate for him that he gets, you know, quite heavily scrutinised now and the, and the cameras are always on him, so he's going to be mindful of that to get the best out of himself. So what was actually said to him by the leadership group? How would you go about it? Basically just what I said there, mate. Obviously you've got to you know, recognise where that line is and you know, make sure you stay on the appropriate side of it. We need you playing on the edge, we need you playing with that, that fire and that passion, but we can't have you going over it. How important is it to get a win on Friday Night Football? A national TV audience, the focus will be on Frio at home against Essendon in good form. Yeah, it'll be huge, mate, especially you know, with the style like Pebble Hayes game. It'll be good to get our sea of purple down there and hopefully pack it out. And obviously Essendon in, in great form, so we'll be able to see where we're really at as well. Do you enjoy the spotlight more of being on the, the big stage of Friday Night Football? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I, I just I love playing anywhere, but as for a team and, and for our fans, it's great that we get Friday Night Blockbuster.